quatro. Just wanted to show you if if we make it out of this with the mammoth pools. We are completely trapped. There's fire on all sides, all around us. All the roads are burnt. Officials in California are saying that a wildfire there may have been sparked by a gender reveal party for a new baby that went awry. According to Cal Fire, a smoke generating pyrotechnic device caused the El Dorado fire in San Bernardino County. The agency said it was one of three major fires burning through counties in Fresno, San Bernardino, and San Diego, and added that they'd increased staffing in preparation for critical fire weather. Late Sunday, California Governor Gavin Newsom declared a state of emergency in the affected counties, and more than 200 people have been airlifted to safety out of Sierra Nevada forest after one fast-moving wildfire cut off the only road out of a popular recreation site called the Mammoth Pool Reservoir. The Madera County Sheriff's Office also said on Twitter that some 20 evacuees have been taken to area hospitals as the creek fire grew rapidly. Since starting on Friday, it's burnt some 45,000 acres, forcing evacuations and road closures in the Fresno area. Nearly 15,000 firefighters are battling 23 blazes across the state as of Sunday. A dangerous heat wave has hit the United States over the holiday weekend. Many locations in California registered record high temperatures on Saturday. The National Weather Service warned that sweltering heat would persist creating ideal conditions for wildfires. Eight people have been killed and some 3,300 structures have been destroyed in just the past three weeks. Over here. My copy will reassign. Strike team 6239, Fox Trot.
protest leader in Belarus and key opponent of President Alexander Lukashenko, Maria Kolesnikova, was detained by unidentified people in central Minsk on Monday. That's according to local reports. A witness told Belarusian media that Kolesnikova was pushed into a dark-coloured van by masked men in plain clothes and driven away. Kolesnikova is the last of three female politicians left inside Belarus who joined forces before last month's presidential election to challenge Lukashenko. She has since played an important role in weeks of mass demonstrations. Her alleged detainment comes after authorities in Belarus launched a tough crackdown on protests over the weekend. More than 600 people were detained after tens of thousands took to the streets calling for Lukashenko to step down. They were met by security forces who laid barbed wire on the streets while military vehicles, water cannons and plainclothes officers in masks were deployed to try and contain the demonstrations. Protests have carried on for four weeks since Lukashenko's re-election, which his opponents say was rigged. Meanwhile, Lukashenko, who's been in power since 1994, still denies electoral fraud and buoyed by a show of support from traditional ally Russia, he's rejected calls for new elections. Achtet auf euch, haltet die Abstände zu euren Mitmenschen ein und tragt nach Möglichkeit eine mund nasen -Bedeckung.